wrong. You lie and wait for your own blood. And you don't even know it. You're too foolish to even see it. Too foolish to even see it. And all of you are Jesus is a man of all foot to your ass and make you smile. Do you hear the voice of one crying in the wilderness today? Do you hear the voice of the prophet rebuking the evil of today? There will be no laughing in the fires of hell. God will not be mocked. That which a man sows, he also shall reap. And that which a witch sows, she will reap. We are here for the witch's new year. Seven fall because you worship the devil. This is our most magical time. Devil worshippers. You live for a Babylon. Celebrate this time of year by honoring our loved ones on the other side. You don't have to be a witch to do this. You merely have to have an open heart and an open mind. That you may be here in this circle with us tonight to welcome your loved ones and your magic. And even in the face of such bigotry and hatred and evil, we stand here in the community of circle. The circle is a universal symbol of coming together, of reaching through that circle to divinity of staring through that space into the mirror of the entire universe where all wisdom and knowledge is available to us. And that is the place where our loved ones who have passed swim within the currents of energies where the dead reside. And we will be calling them here tonight in this ritual and we ask only that you give them and each other person standing here tonight the grace, the grace of respect. And yes, I use that word on purpose. Because to truly walk the ways of religion and spirit and God or goddess, is to respect the divinity within each one of us. No true religion will stand in hatred against other people. And though they may scream and they may shout in their hatred at us, it merely shows how little power and divinity they have allowed themselves to see within their own hearts. For if they were to look within, they would find that they too have the spark of the divine. And so we cast this circle here tonight to welcome you into this space and into our magic. And we do this counterclockwise, which may be different for some of you, but personally I feel that for rituals involving the spirits of the dead, we are weaving ourselves into their world rather than bringing them into ours. So as you stand in this space, you too shall be entering the underworld the realms of the entire dead. Visualize your energy entering into this blade, each and every one of them. For this is a weapon of protection, 
and a beacon of light to create a space that is sacred for all of us. We all of us cast this circle to protect us from all forces, negative or positive, that may come to do us harm. We draw into this circle only those energies that are correct for our work here today. And we welcome those spirits of true and pure intention, our loved ones, to come and join us in this space as we weave ourselves into the realms of the dead. For each of us is a creature of spirit ourselves. And each of us are divine. And we stand against the powers of hatred, both within and without. So mote it be. And we sweep away all negativity, all harm, all malevolent force, all hatred, all ill will, and all of those who would light the flames of bigotry against those who seek the spirit within themselves. For they are your jailers. They would have you be enslaved to the paradigms and the ideas of an antiquated and imprisoning philosophy. They do not want you to find the spirit within. They want you to kneel at the altars of oppression. But we, who are witches, shall never kneel before those altars. And give each of yourself a rousing cheer for your strength, for your power, is this how you see your power? For that is your strength, each and every one of you. Let us call upon the Mighty Ones. Who are the Mighty Ones? They're our ancestors. They're the spirits of the place, the spirits of this earth, the spirits of Salem. Those who have gone before, they're the old gods, the mother goddess, the horned god, the gods of your ancestors, the gods who ruled long before the Christians ever came. So we're going to invoke a spell. I'd like you all to raise your hands. Raise your hands. Feel the earth beneath your feet. We're going to bless Thale. We're going to bless you. We're going to cast a spell of protection to the mighty one. Hail ye mighty ones of the east. I do banish all negativity, malignity, and hindrance from Salem. I cast it out. I ask you to bless the people here. Bless the land. Give them prosperity, peace, and power. So mote it be. Hail ye mighty ones of the north. I do cast out from this place of Salem all negativity, malignity, and hindrance. I do ask you to bless these people, bless this land with peace, prosperity, and truth. So mote it be.